Hello, Runar here and welcome back to another housing video for Final Fantasy XIV. Today we're looking at two brand new items added to housing merchants over in the housing districts. We are of course in Limsa Limincer's Mist and uh, we're at Seagaze Markets. Basically any of the housing areas will have a group of vendors like this and go to any housing merchant in the game to get these items. I am of course talking about two new wall items, so this you'll find under partitions slash wall decorations tab. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will see the slanted wall and the slanted skylight. These will cost you 3000 gil a piece. So essentially these are fully diable wall items, um, which are designed to give you different angles basically inside your house in terms of design because everything is 90 degree angles at the moment it's nice to have something that's not that the slanted wall says this free standing wall adds fashionable and potentially confounding angles to any interior and the skylight says a free standing sloped wall with inbuilt window to let the sun and only the sun somehow in yes because obviously you can free stand these and it won't really make that much sense so we have a light source and a non-light source that are diable here we're going to buy an absolute bunch of these. This gives me a great opportunity to mess around in my uh, my house with a bit of redecorating. So let's get, well, I don't know, four of each. That sounds like a good plan. And we'll go over to my house and have a look. So yes, if you're wondering why I'm Runar, a lot of you will be like, why is, why is Mioni suddenly Runar? Well, it's because I did a glamour recreation. And every time I do one of those videos, I, um, I Fantasia. Um, we don't use third-party tools like some of the other YouTube channels you might watch. We like to actually do it legit because we are not going to violate terms of service, unlike some people. But anyway, let's have a look and see what these items look like. Right then, welcome to my humble abode. It's very minimalist, as you can see right now. We've not really done much in here. I've not had the time, uh, especially since recent things have happened. So here we are. So we have the slanted wall. That's what one of these looks like. Very large, actually. Look at the size of this thing. Absolutely enormous. So it's designed, obviously, to go up to ceiling height, um, which is perfectly fine. These are going to look good in all manner of different places. There's lots you can do with these. Obviously, in a small house like this, you're going to end up with a bit of clipping with the top beams. So positioning is going to be key when you actually create something with this. But you can create some really interesting stuff, as you can probably imagine, right? You can put that nice and close to there. And you've already created like a slanted wall. But obviously, if you have a couple of these, then you could have them rotated against each other. Make a little alcove. You know, a lot of people have been making alcoves to put beds in, uh, which is a really great idea, actually. Um, I think it's fantastic what people have come up with thus far. Put that over there just for a second. But you can already see the possibilities, right? So if you want to go for like a loft conversion and then have like a little, you know, a fake loft conversion and have a, a room, you could easily do that, right? You could easily have that effect. And then you've got the skylights as well. So they're basically, uh, they're basically the same sort of item, but obviously they have light based on them. They are thinner, obviously, in size than the actual wall partition there. But these do let in a natural light when it is daytime, uh, as you can see here. Let's just plop that one there. So we're a little bit too far that direction, sadly. Let's just move this over a bit, shall we? So if you've got like an upstairs section, maybe you've got some actual loft items, you know, the loft items you get and you can basically float them, you could very easily make yourself a loft conversion, a very, very nice feeling little room uh, above there. Because of course, these are partitioning things, you can place them on stuff. You know, you, they're wall items, you put them suspended. I think personally, it is a really great idea. It's possibly not um, the best use case scenario here in a small, because of the sheer size of them. But they are certainly fun to have, and uh, we'll, we'll wait a bit until daylight pours through those uh, to show you that. But whilst we're here, we might as well show you the dye options on these, as you can imagine. Um, I'm pretty sure they just dye the same way that, um, that you would expect. This is not that, that's the preview. Where is it? Aha, furnishing colour. Sorry about that, I potatoed a little bit. 
doing it live is always fun, but never as accurate as I'd want it to be. There we go. So yeah, these die pretty much how you would expect, like a stage panel or something to, to die. Um, pretty nice, actually, you know, dark colors. So lots of vibrance, but you got this sort of like stippled plaster effect, similar to the basic wall partitions. Um, it would be nice if they brought out another series of these with like actual stage panels, like arced um, stage panels and like angled stuff like this. I hope that's something they think about in the future, because that would really help quite considerably with some designs. But yeah, you can imagine with the light pouring in and, and a decent color choice, this would look pretty great. The skylight as well. Um, no, this one. No, this one. Come on. There we go. Yeah, so this basically, uh, because of a wooden frame, you're not going to see. But the outside of that dies, okay? So the outside of the actual skylight dies and not the interior. It's a little bit of a shame that the wood itself isn't diable considering the surface you're going to see is the interior of that that particular item. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But uh, same with these items outside here as well. You're going to get uh, the die on the outside and on the inside, so it's multi-purpose for whatever angle you want to go for. It's just a block color all the way around, which is kind of useful, but it's a shame that it's the same doesn't apply to the wood. Which is why I, I still think that we would be better off with a, a die palette system than the one we currently have. Anyway, let's fast forward a bit and I'll show you what it looks like in day. Alright then, so we've waited an entire day for this to happen. But as you can see, with the reflections on the floor there, which I absolutely love from these skylights, this is what they look like. That's the sort of light they let in. How beautiful is that? Adding so much light to a space without actually needing hundreds of windows. Obviously, when it's not, you know, light enough, we're not going to have this m amount of lighting all the time. But for certain picture reasons, this is going to look fantastic. You can imagine people using this at the side of, you know, proper loft conversions, maybe some nature, some potted plants, lots of whites, many uh, sort of minimalist sort of themes going on. Very basic, lots of, you know, lots of greenery, lots of whites, stuff like that. Stuff that contrasts with the brightness, but also had it having little elements of green and darkness in there as well. I think this is some of the best items that they've added in a long time. This already makes this space, even though it's, you know, not perfect and isn't really suited, it already makes this space feel a lot more alive, doesn't it? And the reflections as well are kind of neat. I love these items, and the fact that they're available from a housing, you know, vendor is pretty good, isn't it? Uh, usually something like this you would expect to be part of a carpenter or maybe from a, a, like the Ishgard restoration or something. But there we go, nice and easy, affordable things. 3,000 a pop for each of these, uh, both for the normal wall, like slanted walls and the slanted skylights. I would highly recommend them. Let me know in the comments section if you've got some of these, if you've made any really awesome looking things, and I'll be sure to check those out. Uh, feel free to link where you've used them so like um for example if your house on a particular server if you want to share where you are just let me know what plot and what server and uh we'll uh, we'll uh, i'll come by possibly and have a look because i'm i'm open to lots of suggestions right now of what to do with this house in particular in terms of design and i do like the idea of perhaps using these partitions and uh, well these wall items myself but anyway Thank you kindly for watching this video, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time.